Hi and welcome back. In this episode, we'll set up basic Express.js web server. So, let's get started. Right now, I'm in terminal in view application, but for API, we'll create a separate project. So, let's go up one folder and let's create new one and we call it bg tracker dash API and let's cd into it. So here let's initialize very simple uh, yarn project with yarn in it dash y and we're good to go. So first thing that we need to create is the entry point, the server file that will be run by node or nodemon. So let's open editor and let's create source folder and inside of it server.js file. So this file will be run by node. And the only responsibility of this file is just to run the server. So it will have some kind of web application like Express app. And we're gonna listen on port. And the port we could hard code it like this, for example. But a better approach to this is to store all of these kind of things, all the environment variables outside of our code and just import them here. So we'll do process.end dot port for example so this way any developer can specify his own port and it's much more flexible and in the callback we'll have just the simple function we'll have the console.log let's say running on local host and we specify port from process.env.port so now of course we need to import the this app so we will require app from app file. So as you can see here, I'm using require instead of import because right now I'm in Node.js domain and it uses require and module exports instead of the imports that we use in view application. So this file will be run by Node, but of course we need to create this app. So let's create app.js file. And here, first of all, of course, we'll need to have the express. So let's import express from express. Then we'll initialize express simply like this. And then we, of course, need to export it. So we'll have module exports equals app. Again, pay attention that we use module exports instead of export default. And now we can set up our application further. So first thing that I want to do, I want to catch all routes except API routes and just route them to our view application to index.html file. So we'll have app all get requests to any kind of route and we'll have request and response. And here I will just response send file and I will join folders in current directory, their name, index.html file. So above it, we'll have our API routes and everything else will be routed to this index.html file. And this index.html file will be created by view CLI build process. So we will not create it by ourselves. So the next thing we need, of course, the ability to get the JSON requests. And for this, I will need to have the body parser. So I'm requiring body parser. And then I need to use it on the app as a middleware. So we'll have body parser dot JSON. Okay, that's good. And the last thing that I want to initialize is the dot env. So here we use the environment variable port where we can get it, we'll use .env package to do that. So first of all, I'm gonna import the path because we used it uh, right here. And then I will also import the .env from .env. And now I can initialize it with .env.config. So by default, this config will search for .env file in the root of the project and will initialize all the environment variables that are defined in that file. So let's save it and let's create .env file in the root of the project. And here we'll define the port that equals to 8989, for example. And while we're here, let's also create git ignore file and set that node modules, we want to ignore this folder, ds store, because I'm on Mac, 
and .env because we do not want to store the environment file in the repository because every developer and every environment will have different environment variables. That's you know the, the purpose of this. So we will not store it, but we could store something like an sample to make for developers to start this uh, file easier. Let's save it. So now let's go to terminal and let's install everything that we use. So we use express, we use body parser, and we use dot env. And that should do it. Good. I will also git init for git repository. Good. Hey there. Just a quick self-promotion. If you like what I do, find it valuable and want to support my work, I encourage you to go to gsfullstacker.com. There you can become a member for just $13 per month and you'll get access to all content that I've already published, plus 5 new episodes each week and access to Slack community where you can ask questions and get updates. You can cancel anytime, no questions asked. Link in the description. And now, back to the video. So now I want to start the server. And to do that, I will need to create the command in package.json. So I'm going to open package.json file here. And you can see that in this, it's very simple one. It even doesn't have any kind of script. So we need to create them manually. So we'll have scripts. And that's just a simple object of commands. And we'll define the serve command. That will equal to basically we can do something like this. No source server.js and that's it right it will work but there are problems with this because node will not catch the changes so every time when we make any kind of change to our server we will need to restart uh, the server to, uh, manually and that's not good so for that we'll use nodemon it will do all this job for us Another good thing that we can do is to provide the node environment variable for development, production, staging, etc. So we'll do it right here, node env equals to development by default. Okay? And to make it cross-platform, we'll use cross-env package. And that's it. So basic thing here, we run in nodemon on the server file here. We specify that it's in development environment and we're using the cross app. So let's save it. Okay, so let's yarn add in dev. Uh, we need to have nodemon and cross the dash env. Okay, we're done. So let's run our command, yarn serve. And you can see that it's running on localhost, nice. So we set up express server. Next, we need to connect it to database and that's what we're going to do in the next episode.